Okay, so I gave this room a bit of a tidy up, vacuum. Um, gonna start laying the carpet tiles. I found the center mark of the room. And then I ran a cross in the middle. Based off, based off the center mark. Um, so the same measurement from that center point to the wall. I just put that over this side, that side, and I used a, a laser, mark the cross, and that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to start one tile here, one tile there, one tile there, one tile there, and then from that I'm going to build towards each wall. So it turns out that I bought not enough tiles. I thought I needed 50 tiles, I actually needed double that. So hopefully I can go buy these tiles tomorrow. They're from a second hand shop. Hopefully there's some left. Um, but I'm gonna, tonight I'm gonna do what I can, figure out how many I need, and then hopefully buy them. If not, I'll have separate colors join in. That's the best I can do. Okay, so I've got the first four tiles laid down. Now all you do is join the tiles up until we come to a, a cut edge. So, so this tile might run up until there, and then you just leave that edge till later. And then once the whole room's done, you come around, do all your cuts, and then place them in. So I'm gonna start working on that now. Okay, so there's a few tiles down. That spray adhesive wasn't actually working, so what I've done, I've got some, uh, what is it? Some fix all, and um, ran a circle around it every corner, and that way all these tiles stick at a corner. And then on these exposed ones, I just ran a, a line of it there. I didn't glue the whole tile, because I want to be able to remove this if I need to. And um, fixing it in the corners, means it won't won't slip but once all the tiles are in and all butted up against the wall they shouldn't move much anyway but this is just a bit of strength for it okay so there we are I've done what I can up until the edges so the rest of these have cuts I'm leaving this one out because there's going to be a kitchen bench going along there so I don't need to actually go that far until the bench is in and then I'll have a cut somewhere there um, I may just have enough tiles, or I might be a couple short, um, see how we go. So to make these cuts for the tiles, you pretty much grab a tile, sit it on upside down, mark the, the points where you need to cut, use a straight edge and then cut along it with a razor blade and break it off. Pretty proud of this cut. Cut it around the architraves and door jam. There we go, look at that. That'll do for today. I will have to pick up some more carpet tiles. I thought I was just gonna make it, but um, no, I'll probably need, need another 10 or 20 or so. But that's all right, I'll see if they've got them at the shop tomorrow. If not, I'll just have to join some, some different, different colours together. But what I might do is finish this area in the same colour. And then, um, yeah, if I end up getting diff a different colour tile, I'll put them in this room because they won't be seen as, as often. And this one will look more tidy.